Hi, good morning, everyone. And now we are going to work on the two things. One is the performance recording, how we record a performance in a Tableau desktop. And second thing is that how we work on the Tableau server. So we are going to cover these two important topics today. And then we are going to close the session right tomorrow by asking what are the different doubts and all this stuff so here. So this is my Tableau desktop uh, file. I have this help in performance setting. And here I have an option here to start my performance recording okay so when i do this start performance recording the tableau desktop is enabled this performance module and uh, it basically then take care of all the steps so i change my value here okay and i change my this particular filter then i do any operations like checking the filter okay the all things are happening. I can hear you now. I can hear you. So what's going on? Can you please explain me? This conference will now be recorded. So in this uh, in the help, you have setting and performance, and here you have the recording option. So when I click on the option to start the recording performance, which basically I showed to you earlier. It starts recording all the operation which I do. What kind of performance recording it does? It basically records the performance of how much time I am taking to read the data. If I change any filter, okay, if I change any filter, how much time it is taking me to basically uh, uh, report to read the data from the data source and showing it into the particular uh, uh, dashboard okay so it basically shows all the uh, stores all the operations which we are doing and then checking it that how much time it is taking to record the particular uh, time it is taking now once it is done you just need to press stop performance recording and once this is done you will see there is a one report is open this report is having the over number of different KPIs and performance recording of the particular report so you can see how much time it takes for the parsing SQL and all those stuff for each one work how much time it is taking to read the data okay so it shows you how the how much time it is taking to read the particular report and all those things now this report can be used to <coughs> analyze the performance of the report okay so the, in the reports where you have hundreds of work worksheets, you can understand that, okay, how much time it takes to basically uh, generate the report and how, if I want to render the report, how much time it will take. Okay. This is the basically objective of this performance record. So it records the whole performance of the report and how the different filters, everything is taking time. Uh, to generate the report okay this report file can be saved okay can be save as and then you can use it for your future purpose so this is the basically objective of this uh, this particular performance recording now in the option of sign in okay when you go to the server let's say I have this particular so I have generated one more report. Okay, you can see this. It has more data. You can see I recorded for a longer period of time. You have let's say compile query. How much time it is taking? Execute query is just taking. Okay, you can see exactly which data source is this. You can then also analyze how much time it is taking for each different events. Like this is how you can create a report and then use it. Okay, now. If I want to publish this particular report over the server, there's an option to sign in here. Okay, you can give your particular your, uh, IP, which basically you have to sign in. So for me, I have this particular IP, okay, which is basically the 
uh, IP where my Tableau server is hosting. So if I log in there, I can see my Tableau server. This is my option to the Tableau server. Okay. I just need to log into particular, then it shows you me to this window where it is a home option. Okay. You can see different folders are created. What these folders are created? These folders are different projects. Okay. So you can create multiple projects. Each project can have a multiple files. So let's say if I go to one project says www. Okay. And I have here multiple files here. You can see customer distribution WW analytics. Let's say I go here and click on that. So if I right click here and open that, it will overrun and open the window, which has a multiple dashboards. Now I open this properly and see one dashboard one by one. I can analyze the report. It is loading. So let it load. So you can see I can see a window here with my dashboard. Okay. This is one of the dashboard. And this is how you can view the dashboard. Okay. Now this is the general operation of how you can view the dashboard. Okay. Now how you can publish a dashboard, which is a major thing. So here you have to just first give the, the tab to desktop that pin number. Okay, so now you are able to connect to a particular. So once you log in, you can see here is a sign in option there, which has been signed in. Okay, now you can just publish your report. So when you publish your report, it asks you to like publish with recommend, without extract, whatever the taboo recommends that you have a multiple data. So it gives you a recommendation. So I just say, you know, I publish it my way. Okay. And now I go and go and publish the report. So what will happen? It will first show me a window where it asks me where I want to publish the report in my server. So you can see it goes to a different folders, and these all folders are the same folder which you can see at my server. You can see at again at my server level. These are the only folders which you see here in my login access. The similar folders are showing here. Okay, I can go and save it at this IT UAT. And here I can make test one, two, three. Okay, and this is the name of the report by which it will publish. You can add your descriptions, you can add tags. The tags are just like keywords. And this is for sales. Or US and whatever then you have option to select which particular sheets you want to publish your workbook can have let's say 10 15 worksheets but you can publish only dashboards okay so you can say oh, I want to publish only dashboards I can select only specific things that only three things you publish now permissions permissions you have to give and understand that to all users you want to give the access you just need to add the user name and then give the access now data source data source when you go here see it asks you the options that you want the data source embedded in the in the workbook which means that these data source connections are available and within that report or you also want to embed the password in the particular workbook so you have to embed the password so that it data is accessible okay so that option you have to check now there are three options show sheets are tab what it means that when you publish this report you want to show the tab at the top or not or you want to show that directly the page single page whatever the user click so what is the benefit of that tab is that if the user want to move from one page to another page he can directly move from the tabs but the, if the user don't want to move from one place to another place then uh, you can publish it without tabs. Okay, so you can have a page and you can view that. Now, you have to press on the publish button to publish the report. Okay, so 
let's say one more few shares are okay but it shows you whatever the error is there okay and it shows you and publish the report so you can see it is sending data to the server and where you are publishing it let's check it there in uat night uat you're publishing it here okay. so now once it is published it will publish i feel the report it will show that particular report here okay and you can see my dashboard is published and i can click and open the report if i refresh this page i should be able to see my report yeah i can see my report here and i can see a report here right so my report is in a format now the further things we want a different option we can do over the okay, over the server now this report can be accessed by when you send this url to any user okay the user need to log in and he can access the report now here what are different options are there you have a full screen so you will see it at the overall level you have the comment okay let's say i am one of the ceo or cfos i can comment on that dashboard okay and that dashboard comments will be stored over this okay so let's say i can do uh, good growth okay and then you can mention anyone okay let's say I, i whatever the users i have in my database in my my tableau i can mention anyone and i, I can post and then what will happen i will it will send a email to a particular user that okay this guy has been contacted you for a particular report this is a very good thing right now you have a option here to download what are different options are there you can download as the image pdf in the latest version you also have a powerpoint okay so when you do a powerpoint you can download it like this and then you can see a report what the powerpoint is different it's nothing like it has a different objects what it does is basically it creates an image and put it there in the report you can see here it is just a single report in a powerpoint okay similarly you have the pdf one you can pdf and tableau workbook is the workbook file which you can use it for your future development now the same options are available when you select the file here and go to actions and here you can see you can uh, delete the file you can see the revision history you can convert it into the tab view if it has been normal view but without tabs are there because right now if you see i can't see any tab here because without tab i can change it to tab view without publishing also i can just select it the automatic tabs will come i can change the name of the owner owner is like right now you can see it is this name so i can change my uh, name from to this particular user to other users what will happen that when you go and edit okay so let's say i have like now user a who is a owner and i am logging with user a okay so i can now you can see this is a tableau server edit option so you have a similar desktop capabilities here at the server you have the multiple sheets everything is available okay and now you can do your changes everything at the server okay now if you want to do further analysis you can go in the report and take it up okay and uh, you have the parameters whatever the things you can right click drag and drop let's say i would want to add few more stuff i can add this particular stuff okay and uh, i can so okay okay this is my new report okay and now once i my report is changed i can go to the file 
and save my report okay now if you are owner you will have an option to save the file but if you are not a owner of a particular report you can't save the file you can save as so you can use the existing copy of the file and save it with a different name okay that is a basically owner difference that the owner can save the file whatever the file you have okay and uh, the same file can be saved but a uh, normal user who has the access and as a editor access can save as the file okay now all these options you see are the options which are there for your tableau work desktop okay so that we are not going to discuss again now once you have a change i can i can save the particular file here right so now my file is getting getting saved once my file gets saved i get an option to okay it's been saved i can close this particular file now i have this particular details available i can also subscribe the view what it means that let's say i have this report available and i see okay this is my very good report okay let me subscribe so i can add a user here i just need to add my name there okay let's say i this are the all users are there i can select any one of the user okay and then i can say ki, okay this view i want to subscribe at what time i want to have the subscription subscription is nothing but the snapshot of this particular dashboard based on your access you will get that output of the report in your email address okay so there will be one email generated with the dashboard output and it will be given to you in your email box okay and then you can write a particular subject okay so this is my subject of the file that this is my particular tab and then you click on the particular subscribe so this is how you do a perform a subscription of a particular report okay now uh, alerts now you have an option to add an alert so let's say if i want to add an alert that when the sale is less than let's say 100000 i want to create an alert so i can go here okay okay select a numeric access so i what i do i select a particular numeric access let's say i do this access and then i do a create and then i can say ki, okay if the mtd is more than 950 and this value create an alert so again it will be creating an alert file that okay if this particular chart this value is more than this then create an alert and send a notification to these users so that is the purpose of alert so now these all our options are available by tableau server if you want to add something over the particular the published report okay earlier we discussed how we can publish a report then we discuss these options right that how we can basically uh, work on the main file we discuss how we can go into the edit workbook and then we see how you can change the particular file and then we discuss all these three or four five options that how we can basically work on the particular thing subscription is important thing then you have an option to share when you click on share you get a code also embedded code html code which you can embed in your uh html files and you get the link of the email which you can do that now let's say i don't require this file i just need to go here and delete the particular file okay and that we are going to do that because this is another environment so we'll do here and just delete the file now my file is deleted and it has been closed okay so now this is how we are going to work on we work on the tableau server now this is one level of the stuffs when you log into the particular uh, server you will have these option on the left hand side beside this you can see there are user group schedule task site status okay so we'll discuss one by one each one of them so yeah, what is um, yeah. I have 
So where, where, where does this server located? Is it in our system or in the in the company's server? It is not uh, located in my uh, particular uh, machine. Okay. So as we know that the architecture is that the server hosted in my company machine. Basically, there is a server which basically company installed Tableau server there. And then they keep that thing hosted so that everyone can publish it at that particular server. Okay. And uh, the similar thing, if you don't, many companies now doing Tableau online. If you go and see when you publish this particular report. Okay. Let's say I publish this particular report. When, when I go ahead, you have a Tableau online. You can see this option. Yeah. Yeah, so this is a Tableau online. Like say you already I told everyone to create a public URL. Like you have a public dot Tableau dot com, right? You can yeah. create your your uh, page over the Tableau. You can give that user ID and password there. Okay, and then you can publish it at your level. So people like us who don't have an access to the server can work on the Tableau online. Okay, but you will not have the Detail of those many features which we have seen in the Tableau public. Okay. They are limited. Now, these are the different features available which is for the enterprise solution. Okay. Like, say, I have these features like user groups, uh, schedules, and all those stuff. So I'll explain one by one. So, first of all, the users. When I click on the users, I get the list of the users who are there. So you can see 518 users are right now in my list. Okay. And these are the list of the users which are available. Okay. I can add any new user by adding it here. Okay. Active directory user. I can give the name of the user and I can define the site role. Okay. Now we will discuss few moments for the site role. What are the different site roles are there? So what the site roles are basically he's a site admin so that he's a creator and all this stuff. Then here the site admin explorer. Explorer means that he can only read, write, and uh, interact with the file. Okay. He can read, write, interact with the file. Creator has a major access. He can publish the file. Too. Explorer is basically he can read, write, and or do all the stuff with a particular option. So you have when you move a mouse over, you can easily understand the creator do view. Subscription, edit, publish, view, create data source. Explorer can do everything but cannot create a data source. Explorer, normal explorer can only view, edit, subscription, and view interact. Normal viewer can only interact and subscribe. And unlicensed means nothing. Okay. These are the options which are available for each role. Based on that, you define and add any one particular role. Now, let's say I added a particular role so you can again have an option to change your particular role okay you can also ch option to change the groups okay what are the now groups are there groups are basically the different groups let's say i have so many people in my tableau class okay i group them together in one class and then say that this is my group okay so i say tableau group so now i want to give all the access to a report which this particular tableau group will have so i just need to give the access to the tableau group instead of giving all the users of that particular group so that is the purpose of groups that you combine and access to list of the users the same way by just giving the group name okay so let's say all the people who is in corporate strategy i can assign these reports who are given access to the corporate strategy so they will all have an access to the report. Okay. Now, uh, how we can uh, add a user in a group? You can create a group. Go here and add the different users. It is as simple as adding the group. Okay. Now schedules. Now schedules is something which is basically why we have schedules. So there are two main purpose of a schedule. One is subscription. So when we created a subscription, which basically the email notification of the report, we have an option of different 
uh, timestamps like these are the different timestamps I have I can change my report and send it to the users okay so let's say I want to send a report at let's say 9 a.m. in the morning and I don't have a particular schedule in the place of the tablet so that schedule first need to be available in the server so how you can make it available over the server that you can create the particular schedule and then you can particular use it that schedule for your purpose okay and use it for your reporting and all the stuff so let's say I have so many schedules this I can use them for my extract refresh and whatever similarly I can identify a separate kind of subscription schedules so this is extract schedule refresh uh, uh, schedule and this is subscriptions schedule okay like that you have two schedules available now task now task are something additional of that whatever the reports you have so I'll again go to the report level let's say I have this report offer strategy okay if I go in this this particular section what I see I see the seven data sources uh, seven views of the report but so there's the option of a data source right now this data source is basically is is basically having an extract refresh so this data source is getting refresh every day 9 p.m. okay so now this refresh is being basically scheduled let's say I want to tomorrow change my schedule from 9 p.m. to something else I just need to add uh, add that particular time here he sh it will automatically reflect there and then I can change my schedule to particular extract so this particular event that this particular invoice SPG is scheduled for extract is considered as one task okay so all these tasks are showing here for all the extract refresh similarly all the subscriptions like this user will have this particular report subscription is sh all showing here you can see all the basically subscription which basically created is showing it here okay then you have an option for site status site status are nothing but a different reports of admin level given to the users that you can understand how many users are working you can understand how many users are working on the data source you can understand the action of all users you can also uh, check the background task for the extracts you can also check the load status time of the extracts okay like that you have all the option to do okay so this is all the options which are there in the tableau server you have home option where you can see and go to the home window this is something which is basically newly created in tableau 20.19.1 how you know that this is which server of tab you go here help okay and you can go in the view and you can learn that okay this is my 20.2.1 okay so this is one of the latest tab server window you can have a search option here you can search your report whatever the report you want and you can do the particular analysis okay now we discuss one more thing we basically i have to discuss let's say i can make a favorite right when you have an option to favorite let's say i make a favorite this report i am doing every time so i can make it favorite how i can make it favorite that i can go here and just click on the star option here so this is now my favorite i can go here you will see my favorite report is showing here now i can open the particular report okay, and view the particular report right and you can understand how it is happening so now we discuss two things we discuss how the performance recording can be done at a desktop level we understand how the different reports are published how the different server activities can manage okay uh, this all small level of information is very helpful because this will also not only guide you but also give you a comfortable zone that you can work on the tablet server 
because travel survey is not a big thing okay only problem is that no one has worked on it because of limited access so now this small training will help you to understand that okay this basically stuff is very straightforward and can be easily done now i want to discuss some best practices for the performance tuning okay uh, so what are the best practices for the performance tuning the first thing is that you when you publish the particular dashboard you don't have to keep all the clean your dashboard basically workbook so you don't have to keep all the files which are not required you remove or delete the files which are not required the first step is to get rid of all the unnecessary sheets the second step is to get all the necessary data source because every time when you publish the report it takes time to read that data source irrespective it is being used or not okay so they are two things one is like uh, publishing the data source uh, before that removing the unnecessary sheets second removing the unnecessary data uh, particular data source now once it is done okay we are in our report okay we can view our report now let's say i am using sample story store now i done my old development there's an option here when you go at a dimension level that hide all unused fields okay when you do this particular option all the unused fields which are there are hidden from the tableau workbook all the hidden worksheets on the other than not hidden worksheet all the hidden sets everything gets uh gets hidden because they are not being used now if i want to see it again show hidden i can add it okay so you see now it is showing the show hidden but now they all have been all been hided you can again go let's say you find something now important and you can right click here and unhide and you can use it in your report otherwise you can hide it all okay now if i go to this data source here okay and i have not checked on show hidden okay so you will see only the required one so you can see only few columns are coming here because they have been used in the report now just checking the hidden ones okay in the particular data source it adds the performance to the report when you publish the report okay when you publish the report then what happens that in tableau query it will only consider the columns which are not hidden and run it for those query because it now knows that which one are used which are not used now this is the third level of performance tuning that you make sure that you uh, manage and uh, hide all the columns which are not being used okay the another option is that you don't create multiple dashboards let's say i have let's say this particular workbook will have let's say 100 ta dashboard tabs okay so what this is not a good practice to do that because when you do this something like this you will have 100 dashboard let's say for particular analytics okay i i have only let's say 11 views so what will happen the tableau server will take some time to load 11 views first and then it will open the report in the front of me so what will happen it takes some time to load all the information and then show it to the user so you avoid keeping more tabs in the tableau server when you publish it so that lesser the tab the more performance overhead the less more the less performance overhead is coming into the picture okay. okay so this is how overall we are going to create different views work it out all the subscription which we created everything is lined up here so you can see we have all the views then data source then all the extracts which are refreshing here and all the subscription associated to particular report okay so this is something which basically we have to discuss about that particular tableau server now we discuss how we have done a performance tuning too okay so this is all stuff which basically we wanted to talk about today okay uh, do you have any questions
feel free to ask me right now. This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so thank you very much. Okay, we will connect again for the final discussion.